We were prepping the soil in the back, getting ready to put down the insulation board. So we're using a straight edge, uh, filling in any low spots. But as you can see, there's a pitch uh, away from the house, and then it drained towards me with surface drain, uh, along with the sides here, all pitching away from the house. So we can put in the insulation. This is rock sole, rock wool insulation. And here you can see we're starting to spread it out. It comes in two foot by eight, uh, two foot by four foot boards. And they're semi-rigid. They, uh, they have a little bit of, you know, flex in them, but they're fairly rigid boards. And right now we're just lining them up, getting the gaps tight. This is gonna make a great skirt of insulation around the house. It's designed for roofing underlayment. It's very similar to a Tyvek type material. Um, this says a Tyvek brand on it, so it's probably made by the, them guys. But it's uh, it's something that it's not going to last forever. I know that, but uh, I was able to get a roll um, to try it out as a sample. So I'm going to see how long it lasts in this application. But. Uh, the primary purpose here is insulating the ground, so I'm not so worried about the water intrusion as much as I would be if I was having water issues, and the primary purpose would be water shedding, in which case I would have used an EPDM rubber. But this will, this should hold up for a few years at least, but it'll be fun to see how long. And I'm almost done. You can see the gravel. It's a little two-inch layer. It's on top of the insulation board going around and here I just ran out of some fabric but you can see I cut around and went under little platform and so we have this uh, waterproof layer and then I used a little flashing up there and uh, covered it with the gravel and we'll just keep going around the whole house like that but the all the insulations down the rock will work great We'll keep that uh, soil above freezing.